Hello YouTubers, Paul here, your channel host, went to my channel. Well, um, back in my travel lodge after being at the National TV Awards 2019. And as promised, I'm going to go through my list of uh, my voting and who I thought I'd win and who won. And play my score, which is actually pretty crap, actually, out of 14. Um, right. So, I'll tell you the order that they were presented in, so you'll have to bear with us here. Okay then, the first category that came up to be uh, announced or presented was Factual Entertainment Programme. Um, the nominees uh, were Gogglebox, Paul O'Grady for the Love of Dogs, The Great British Bake Off, Ambulance and DIY SOS The Big Build. I skipped that category. Um, I predicted Gogglebox would win. I was wrong, Paul O'Grady for the love of dogs won. So that's a cross. Um, the next award that was presented, the next award of the night, was New Drama. Um, the nominees were Killing Eve, A Discovery of Witches, Girlfriends, The Cry and Bodyguard. I voted for and predicted Bodyguard would win. Bodyguard won, so... That's my first correct one. Um, the third category that was presented on the night, or tonight, was um, Daytime. Um, the nominees were This Morning, Jeremy Kyle Show, Good Morning Britain, Loose Women and Sunday Brunch. I voted for Good Morning Britain. Um, have a look at the reasons why I voted for them on the previous video I did uh, last night. At home, um, I voted for Good Morning Britain, um, but predicted that this morning would win, and this morning won. Um, so that was the third category. Fourth category, I skipped it, but it was newcomer. Um, the nominees were James Moore as Ryan Stocks in Emmerdale, Alexandra Mardell as Emma Brooker in Coronation Street. Um, Neet Mohan, Dr. Rashid Rash Masoom in Casualty, um, Aidan Duckworth, Oliver Morgan in Hollyoaks, and Ricky Champ as Stuart Highway in EastEnders. Um, the, I skipped the category, but I predicted that Alexander Mordell from Coronation Street would win. I was wrong, it was actually James Moore as Ryan Stocks in Emmerdale, and what I didn't realise is he actually he's actually got a disability. Um, I think he's got cerebral palsy, um, but he, he made a point of saying that it's good that um, programmes are, or producers are taking people on with disabilities, because as you know, YouTubers, I do have a couple of disabilities. I have um, autism with anxiety and epilepsy. But yeah, anyway, that's getting sidetracked. The next um, category, category that was presented on the night was TV Judge. Nominees were Robbie Williams from The X Factor, Louis Tomlinson from The X Factor, um, David Williams from Britain's Got Talent, Simon Cowell, Britain's Got Talent Stroke The X Factor, and Robert Rinder as Judge Rinder. I predicted and voted for David Williams as Britain's Got for Britain's Got Talent, and David Williams won. So that's another one I got right. Um, the sixth category that was presented on the night was comedy. Big Bang Theory, Mrs. Brown's Boys, Pete Kay's Car Share, Jack Whitehall, Travels With My Father, and Benidorm. I predicted that the Big Bang Theory would win, but I voted for Peter Kay's Car Share. Peter Kay's Car Share won. I should have gone with me uh, feelings and I should have gone with me instincts and uh, voted for or uh, predicted Peter Kay's Car Share, but there you have it. Right, number seven. All right, drama performance. Here we go. Um, the nominees were Jodie Comer for Villanelle in Killing Eve, um, Jodie Whitaker for The Doctor in Doctor Who, Cillian Murphy as Thomas Shelby in Peaky Blinders, Richard Madden as Sergeant David Budd in Bodyguard, and Michelle Keegan as Lieutenant Corporal George Lane in Our Girl. I voted for and predicted that... Sorry, I voted for Jodie Whittaker as the Doctor in Doctor Who, because I love her, she's absolutely gorgeous, but I predicted that Jodie Comer as Villanelle uh, in Killing Eve would win, um, because she had the right mix between comedy and dark humour and, and dra good drama, and um, booked Richard Madden as Sergeant David Budd in Bodyguard won. 
um, number eight, the eighth category of the night. What I skipped it, it was quiz show. There was catchphrase, League of Their Own, The Chase, Eight or Ten Counts, does Countdown, and Pointless. Um, I predicted that eight out of ten cats does countdown would win. The chase won. Um, so that was category eight. Category nine. Um, yep. The Bruce Forsyth Entertainment Award. Um, nominees were all round Mrs. Brown's Boys. Aunt and Dex sat in nice takeaway. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Sorry. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Um, the Graham Norton Show and Love Island. I... Predicted and voted for Ant and Dex Satellite Tearaway and I'm a Celebrity. Get me out of here! Won. So, well done, you lot. It was still an Ant and Dex show, but obviously last year Ant was off, off taking time out, so Deck and Holly presented. Um, so that was number nine. Um, ten. Um, category ten. The, the tenth category that was presented was... Serial drama performance, um, Bonnie Langford as Carmel Kazemi in EastEnders, Danny Dyer as Mick Carter in EastEnders, Lucy Pargeter as Charles Dingle in Emmerdale, Emma Atkins as Charity Dingle in Emmerdale, and Jack P. Shepard as David Platt in Coronation Street. I voted for and predicted that Mick Carter in EastEnders would win. Mick Carter, sorry, Danny Dyer as Mick Carter in EastEnders would win. Danny Dyer won. And then the next category that was presented, which was off topic, was the Special Recognition Award, and it was David Dimbleby. Because, of course, last December, when Parliament broke up, he presented the last um, question time that he'd been presenting for the last, I don't know how long, um, quite a few years. Um, the 11th category that was presented, here we go, was Drama. There was Call the Midwife, Our Girl, Peaky Blinders, Casualty and Doctor Who. I voted for Doctor Who, predicted Call the Midwife would win, and Peaky Blinders won. So there we go, I was wrong then. Um, the 12th category that was <coughs> um, presented on the night was Philip's um, TV presenter. The um, nominees were Philip Schofield, Anton Deck, Bradley Walsh, Holly Willoughby and Graham Norton. <coughs> Excuse me. I predicted and voted for Ant and Deck. Ant and Deck won. I know there's a bit of controversy over this. I might do a set of vlog about it. Um, <coughs> but they did a live link up to the um, Britain's Got Talent auditions where he where they both were. Um, so well done. Um, next one, um, the thirteenth award to be announced on the night was Talent Show. Um, the nominees were Dancing on Ice, The Voice UK, Britain's Got Talent, The X Factor, and Strictly Come Dancing. Um, I voted for Britain's Got Talent and predicted Dancing on Ice, Stri sorry, Strictly Come Dancing would win. Strictly Come Dancing won. And then final um, award of the night was um, where is Serial Drama. Coronation Street, Emmerdale, EastEnders and Hollyoaks. I um I didn't vote in this kind Oh sorry, yes, um I predict I voted for and predicted EastEnders would win, but Emmerdale won. So well done them. And that takes my grand total absolutely rubbish. Five out of fourteen. <laughs> I'm slipping man. Eh. Anyway, I hope I come back next year and win better next year um, with predictions. So, for another year of the National Television Awards, see you later, YouTubers.